Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of KLA Sports. I'm your host Kyle Alexander and today here we are going to be talking about Lamar Jackson's heroic Monday night football game against the Cleveland Browns. So other than that, let's get right into it. Cue the intro. Alright guys, so, well first, before, I got a new hoodie, I just want you to see that I got a new hoodie, and I made, just, made this hoodie myself, like I said, I'll be making shirts and stuff, so if you want to get at me, just follow me on Instagram, it's KLA underscore sports, it should, you should see my logo, I do custom shirts and all that type of stuff, so should get at your boy, but back to the video, the uh, Baltimore Ravens, man. If you're a fan of the Ravens, you know, besides besides from last year, every year, every year in every game, most of the games feels like you have a heart attack or uh, midway through, uh, like you or you feel like you have um, high blood pressure. You feel like you have high blood pressure all the way uh, all the way through, like through four quarters straight. This was this was one of those games. So on Monday night. Ravens defeat the Browns uh, 47 to 42 in a Monday night football thriller. I believe that's game of the year cuz that was just back and forth, but and shout out to the Cleveland Browns for actually being competitive this year. As a football fan, I like it, but you know, for my Ravens just don't don't play like that again against the Ravens. You had me scared. But Lamar Jackson, I'm just I'm gonna just tell you his stats so he was 11 to 17 passing for and he had 287 total yards 163 of them were passing and 124 of them were rushing on nine carries he had three total touchdowns one pass and two rushing um you know he had a great game and you look at baker mayfield who went 28 of 47 passing 343 yards Two touchdowns, one interception, and a rushing touchdown. So he had three total touchdowns. It was a great game, man. Like y'all, that was a game you would want to stay up for all night. That was just an amazing game. Um, yeah, Lamar proved why he's the reigning MVP. So for all them people who was hating on Lamar, talking about, oh yeah, y'all, y'all started RG three, y'all be on the feed or hey, put in Trace McSorley, Lamar sucks. Look at look at how we played without him. Yes, I know last year, and last year it was a different team. We lost some players, so there was going to be plus last year was historic, so it was going to be a drop off. But you cannot sit there and tell me with a straight face that you still believe Robert Griffin or Trace McSorley will lead the Ravens to a better record than what they have with Lamar. If all people had last year. Talking about no Ravens can still make the playoffs without Lamar. Um, I don't know because Pitts last. I mean last year Pittsburgh would have had us if we if you take Lamar out of last year. And I'm uh, being honest because Pitt Pittsburgh was still being they still went eight and eight. Mike Tomlinson had a whole game plan without Roethlisberger. But Lamar proved why he's the MVP. Look at the game against Pittsburgh this year. Where he t- where he was out with COVID, lost that game. RG three didn't look great. Trace McSorley he did his thing, almost came back, but defense gave up that catch to James Washington. Then you look at the first game he comes back against the Dallas Cowboys. Now you probably said Kyle is the Cowboys. Calm down. Exactly, that's my point. He, it's the Cowboys, so he did what was expected. You know, big game led the Ravens to a huge victory. And helped the Ravens get, they had 294 rushing yards. It's great. Then you look at this game against the Cleveland Browns. Before Lamar went to the locker room, the scoreboard was Ravens 34, Browns 20. Lamar is out, Trace is in. 
We almost pick up a first down on Trace's first drive, but Marquise had the drop. Then you, then you see, oh, Trace goes down, goes down with the injury. Oh, Lamar's coming back in on fourth down. What's the score? What's the score right there? Oh yeah, the scoreboard now read Browns thirty five, Ravens thirty four. Uh, what happened? Uh, what happened? Lamar, what, Lamar is on the talented team. Lamar is not most valuable player, but when he's out, the Ravens gave up a lead. Uh, I'm just saying he that he proved he's the MV, he's the reigning MVP. Now after the locker room, his stats his his stats were great. I won't say great, but his stats were good. You know, he went five for five for passing. Technic he technically went five for six because of the spike, but I I count that as five for five because you know spike. But yeah, he ba- ta- ba- basically went five for five for passing, eighty two yards and a touchdown. And the touchdown was on his first play back from the locker room. And it was fourth and five. And, you know, Lamar, he just did what he did best. He was being being a playmaker. If you look at that play against the Browns, and you're like, oh, he got lucky. Lamar made that play happen. If you guys actually watched the game, you saw Lamar Jackson rolled out to the right. Or no, no the Cleveland got, Cleveland had, first of all, they ran cover zero against a mobile quarterback that was that was your first mistake you run cover zero then they have a d tackle doing containment and he fails he just straight up crashes so lamar's like oh he ain't contained so i got the whole outside rolls out to the right and then the corners the corners are coming to our corners are playing between because like all right it's a receiver or like it could be a short pass like a pass right here but at the same time he can come up and try to stop lamar now, if they played the pass, Lamar still would have got the first down. But Lamar, he manipulated the play. Marquise Brown was able to get free. Lamar flicked it to him. My heart dropped because I didn't think I didn't know if Marquise was going to catch that. But he did, and he used the speed. He got the touchdown. Lamar made that play happen. Why? Because he's a playmaker, and he's valuable to that team. Mm. Yeah. Um, also, for all the people talking about Lamar can't win a game with his arm, he finally has a game when he ha- finally has a game winning drive. Oh no, Justin Tucker won that game. Who drove them downfield? Who got the touchdown that forced Cleveland to go downfield to uh, get a touchdown that gave us the ball back? Lamar did his thing, show why he's the reigning MVP, and shut everybody up and show people that he can win a game with his arm. It was just, it was. I mean, as a Ravens fan, I was just happy to see that because he kept our season alive. And plus, that 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 crosses off another thing on his checklist. Oh, on proving haters wrong. All right, show him I can throw, which he did last year. He's still working on it. He has to get better with outside the numbers, but you know, it, it, he has time. So Lamar just said, "All right, game on the drive. Check with my arm. Check." He did that. Now, he ca- and he kept the Ravens' playoff ho- playoff hopes alive as the Ravens continued to try and win up. So they got three games left. Jacksonville, Giants, and the Bengals. So they have the easiest remaining schedule out of anybody in the league. They went out, go 11-5. They ha- So for them to make the playoffs, they have to win out, go 11-5. And, and they need Cleveland or the Browns. They need, no, they need the Colts, the Colts or the Browns to lose a game, at least one more. Because they're both, even though they just beat Cleveland, they're a game ahead. Of, they're a game ahead of them. If one of those teams loses, Ravens have the tiebreak over both teams because they swept Cleveland, beat Indianapolis uh, earlier in the year. So if one of those, as long as one of those teams loses, bam, Ravens move up. The, or yeah, Ravens move up. Dolphins, I believe Dolphins. If they do win, I'm just going. If they went out. If the Dolphins and the Ravens went out, Dolphins get the higher seed because they have a better conference record, I believe. Oh, yeah, they have a better conference record. So, yeah, as long as Cleveland loses another game, Ravens move up to second in the division. So, that's another plus. But So, Ravens, this is just win now. But we got Jacksonville next week, Garner Minshew, I believe. 
and Lamar only needs 270 yards to become the first player to have 1,000 yards rushing back-to-back, or the first QB. I believe they're going to run all over Jacksonville, and Yannick and Calais are going to have a, a revenge game. I think both of, them, both of those players will get it two sacks each. That's my honest prediction. But... And I'm not just going to say it about Lamar. I was, I was talking about Baker, too, because we saw positive things out of both quarterbacks. Now, Baker proved that he's the guy to stop Cleveland's revolving door quarterbacks. I know for my whole life, Cleveland has been terrible. They have been the worst team and, like, the butt of all jokes in the NFL. But now you got this guy. It's like, oh, we can never have a QB. We always miss on QBs. Yeah, um, phew. I remember they had Cody Kessler, Deshaun Kaiser. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but they get this guy, Baker Mayfield. His rookie year, he had Jarvis Landry. It was like, all right, 7-9. and nine. We ha- He has potential. We know what he can, what they can do. Last year, get Odell. All right, let's see what this team can do. Oh, what they, I believe they went 5-11 and 11 last year. Yeah, again, still look terrible. This year, they're 9-4. and four. People might say, oh, they're overrated. They haven't really beat nobody. So what? I mean, yes, that may be true. But at the end of the day, Cleveland, they're just going, they're taking it a step at a time. They found out Baker is their guy. He saw them almost come back. Although my only problem with them almost coming back was that Lamar was out. And, you know, they wasn't doing anything. But regardless, I can't even say because Lamar doesn't play defense. So Baker was coming back on the Ravens, supposedly top 10, top 5 defense. And he showed what he can do. So Cleveland doesn't have to draft another quarterback. They just and they got the, they found their coach in Kevin Stefanski. I like what he's doing, uh, coach of the year nominee. But Cleveland finally finally has their future set. So they so now I'm going to get into my playoff predictions for both teams. Oh, also, both quarterbacks played well, so there will be no Lamar or Baker slander. For this week, but my so my prediction for the Ravens uh, when they make the playoffs, I'm saying like because you know I think they're going to make the playoffs, is they can surprise some teams. Honestly, defense has to clean it up because they haven't been too sharp lately. But uh, Ravens can surprise some teams. Yeah, they got a great rushing attack. They got three guys averaging five plus yards a carry. Uh, I feel like Marquise has been getting a little better. He's starting to do what the Ravens got him to do, which is get open across the middle. You know, just like uh, extend his route, break off his route when the play is dead. So I think Ravens can surprise some teams. I would, uh, I personally want to see them play Buffalo because I think that will probably be, Buffalo will probably be the easiest team for them to play, which is even hard to say because Buffalo has been on fire this year. And you know, yeah, Ravens beat them last year, but they have Stephon Diggs now. And Josh Allen's looking like an MVP. So, I don't know. But I honestly believe the Ravens can surprise and upset the team because they play better as underdogs. But now, uh, for the Cleveland Browns, I think they're going to be, I'm going to be honest, they're going to be one and done, but they're preparing for the future. They're just stepping stones. Now, I can see them upsetting someone, but at the same time, they don't have playoff experience. None of, the, none of their players... Nobody on that team has been to the playoffs, I'm pretty sure. I'm, Kareem Hunt may have one year with the Chiefs. Um, Odell one time with the Giants. But Conklin with the Titans last year. So it's like some of those players, but, you know, they're a young team. They're getting into their own. Cleveland has not been to the playoffs since before I was born. So they're going to use this as a stepping stone. And they're gonna say, "All right, we now we now know what the playoffs are like. We know we know we can win. We know we can get there now. Let's just run it back, get further." So that's my take on that game and that situation. Lamar shows why he's the reigning MVP. He finally has a game-winning drive, and yeah, Ravens. I believe Ravens can make the playoffs. Um, as of his video, let me guys know in the comment section below what you think about. Lamar again, his game winning drive. Uh, what you felt about that game? It was a great game, and yeah. Also, I started this uh, group chat or not a group chat. I started this group on this app called Flick. 
And basically, it's just the app where uh, some people from different communities can come together and form one sport, one sport group. And you can just talk about different stuff. Like, I'm in one with this other YouTuber, Engraven. He's a Ravens fan. And I checked it out. I like it. It's fun. So I can post stuff for you guys, like polls, reactions, stuff like that. Also, there will be group chats to where you can talk to other people. And you can also talk to me about anything like NFL, NBA, college, and stuff like that. Link is in the description to join. But yeah, that will be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.